Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally gonna start a uh, the blue journal that I've been wanting to do for quite a um, quite some time. And as it happens, I am able to combine it with my second design team project for Line Dot Arrow. And because Natalie has um, two blue themed journal kits in her Etsy shop and I will link them below if you're interested and so this month she actually let everybody choose um, whatever kit we want to work with last month she sent um, all of the design team members all five of us the same kit and this time we just could pick whatever we wanted um, I had already purchased the blue kit because I was gonna do my blue journal but then I saw she had another smaller blue um, kit that would go really well with this so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, so the first one is just called blue junk journal and I have to see I have to organize this I haven't printed all of them yet because I have to figure out what I want to print oh that even printed on the wrong paper why did it print on the wrong paper but it's beautiful so this is like the blue junk journal um, I don't know about these. This one. Uh, this one is. This one is the same paper, but it has the bird on it and some more flowers. So you can use this one for journaling, and if, or if you don't want the journaling part, you can just use this one. And then we have this one. Oh yeah, blue kit. And then we have these beautiful tags and her her frames again that I really like. She had the similar ones. Uh, in the other kit last month this is beautiful i love this uh oops that doesn't go there and then an envelope and then these are some tags and labels from the other kit which is just called blue kit number one botanical nature themed and also this page which i thought really was really nice so the blue junk journal kit comes with nine pages um there's a bunch of like journal pages and then a few pages that have oops i'm dropping my glue a few pages have like tags and embellishments that you can cut these little file folder they can cut out and then this one the blue kit number one uh comes with seven sheets and it also has whole page junk journal pages but then also the uh, ephemera that you can cut out and use and um she because she's in europe her pages are a4 which are narrower and taller than the american letter size that's why if you print it to fill like to print the entire page borderless you will still have a border here and here because that's just a4 or actually it would be taller yeah anyway so you could also print uh in your settings you could ch um, change it to fill the entire page but then it gets cut off like this part gets cut off so that's why i didn't do it and i don't mind um cutting cutting this off and this so my journal gets a little shorter that's okay all right, and I also printed some other uh, background. What did I do with the other one? Didn't I just have one that I said it didn't go with this? Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah, because I needed some blue, more blue stuff. I just uh, printed some other, oh, this one, some other papers. This one used up a lot of ink um, that I can either use as a background on a page or I can use it to collage. But this is not from Line.Arrow. These are separate from, from somewhere else. Same with these. I just love the blue butterflies. And then I just have some other blue stuff. I have a blue dyed darley, um, different kinds of blue. Like this is like a weird like a fabric. I don't know what it is. Um, different different kinds of papers and then uh i love this one here i'm probably gonna cut the bird out and then just 
some other digital papers that I had laying around and some more uh, dyed paper that I did with blue food coloring. And I have a lot of other things that I'm going to put into this journal, but for right now, I'm just going to focus on the cover. And um, I first I was going to use one of those 9x12 uh, yellow envelopes to uh, sew into my cover fabric, which is, I think it's upholstery fabric. And I got a big piece uh, in the remnants bin at Joann's for pretty cheap. So whenever you go to a fabric store, always look for the bin where they put like all the leftovers because sometimes you find really cool stuff. And for junk journal covers, you don't even need like half a yard. You need, you don't need a lot depending on how big your journal is. So just look for the scraps, same with Goodwill. And I really like the edge. So I'm probably gonna have this on the front. All right, so as I said, I was gonna do the envelope in there, and I wasn't too excited about it because I wanna do new stuff, not always the same. However, uh, UPS showed up earlier and I was like, what did I order? I couldn't remember. And then I, it, it came back to me. I had ordered some uh, book corners, like those metal book corner protectors. And they came in this super awesome, it's like little um, padded um, paper, like envelope, and it's the perfect size, and it says you can re recycle it like a box, and I was like, yeah, I can recycle you, I can turn you into a junk journal, so I'm going to cut this <coughs> to my nine by six and I will sew this on top of it and then probably on the inside I'm gonna put a, a paper or something and I love the crinkliness doesn't sound nice it's totally different than my regular journals so that's what I want to do today and because this is <clears throat> fairly thick it's upholstery fabric and this is pretty well, it's not too too thick um, but it has a good Good thickness. I'm not gonna use any batting in between. So let's see. I'm gonna. Ooh. Try to open this. Perfect. Also, um, I thought it was funny because UPS brought me the solution to my problem because I wasn't sure what like what I wanted to do with with the for the cover, and then. I should probably thank Amazon because <laughs> Amazon picked the, the envelope. So it's really nice. Uh, you can probably tell that this is all glued here and here. So if I cut it to sh if I cut it in here, the stuff inside will come out. So I will have to glue like tape it shut because I don't want all this fuzzy stuff to come out. And then what did I do with this piece? Huh? I have a oh here we go. And then uh, when I went grocery shopping the other day, I got one of those big um, packages that had like three tissue boxes. And it was whole, like this was in on top and around the boxes. I'm like, I'm not gonna throw this away. So what I thought, I, I'm gonna trim this just to be like this short, but I like, I like this. So what I'm gonna do, Actually, let's cut this real quick. Um, where's my trimmer? Oh goodness, I cleaned up and I can't... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I cleaned up uh, the other day and vacuumed my floor. It's it's clean again. Uh, and now I didn't know what I did with my trimmer. Okay, I'm just gonna cut uh, a little more. I can always cut it shorter. I'm gonna save this for tags and other things. So here's my little hinge. So, and then once, obviously this is gonna be six inches wide, but let's just pretend this was my cover. And I will probably here, either here or between, yeah, I'm gonna do it between this and this because I don't want you to see the outline of this. If I have a paper on here, you can still tell that there's something under the paper. But if it's between the fabric and the um, 
um, um, envelope. Uh, when you open it on the inside of the cover, you have a flip out, which I thought was neat. And I could put a pocket in here and then, uh, yeah. Hey, recycling. So yeah, I am recycling. All right, so now I gotta cut this to nine by six. Well, nine by 12 actually, because it's this way. So I, I'm i gonna use my guillotine cutter for that. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Maybe I can cut it this way too. Ooh, I'm nervous because I don't know what how messy the stuff is in there. How long, how wide is this? It's 12 inches. Hmm. I need to trim. <sighs> to get to here. I was thinking if I should keep one of those, but it's thin. I don't want it to be thin. On. Okay, let's just trim this off. That's what it's like. Isn't this funny? Ugh. Oh, that, oh gosh, it's a messy thing. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna cut over here to make it. Oh, I can barely get this through. Well, can I take this off? I thought I could take this off. Maybe not. Okay, nine. Ugh. The struggle with the envelope is real. Just wanna double check. Nine by six, and then my pages are gonna be <coughs> eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, Whew. don't wanna do it wrong. <sighs> Yuckies. <Ooh. coughs> All right, huh. and now I gotta cut it this way. So now this has to be six inches wide. Oh my word, look at all this mess. Ooh. I should probably get uh, a Swiffer or one of those to um, catch them all. Okay, it's gotta be a little, little wider than six. Just a tiny bit. <coughs> Gosh, Oh my gosh, I inhaled so much very old dust today because I, I was crawling around in an attic that nobody has been in in years. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, oh, it was really disgusting, but I found an awesome, um, like a lot of awesome stuff. So it was worth it. Um, gosh, I'm gonna put this in my trash really carefully. I don't want to inhale this stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay, um, I gotta use. I don't even have any big tape here. Okay, I gotta go get some packing tape and a Swiffer, and then I'll be back. Okay, so let's see if the Swiffer will actually pick those things up. Mm, yeah. Wow. Cool. These are also very handy when you work with glitter. Okay. And my packing tape, so I gotta be very careful. Ugh, goodness. <sighs> you can probably use um, uh, thinner tape, or like, that's not as wide, but that's all I have for it right now. So. Let's see how we're gonna manage this. Oof. Hey, stay in there. Okay, one side's done. <laughs> Ugh, sorry for that noise. 
I know some people are very sensitive to that. By the time I'm done, there's no filling left. <laughs> oh my word, where's my... Hey, come back. Ugh. Okay, I gotta snip this piece off so I can actually get the other tape on there. All right, two more. I probably made it a lot more difficult than I had to be, but why? I don't know if this is a German, uh, an English saying, or if you can say it in English, but in German we say, why easy if you can have it difficult. Okay. So yeah, this morning, I met my friend at the house that she was cleaning out like a 10 or a little after 10 and I told my husband because I left the daughter, our daughter home with him and I told him I won't be long and he's like yeah yeah you're gonna stay longer than you think you will it's like takes like half an hour to get there so <laughs> well yeah he was right of course what I didn't know was that there was still a ton of stuff in the attic I thought my friend already looked through everything but she hadn't so we went up into the attic, could go like through this old little bathroom and then there's like a little door in the wall and climb up the stairs like and some of those floorboards in the attic were really soft so I was like, constantly worried that I would break through the ceiling. <laughs> Holy cannoli, so much stuff up there and uh, I think the former owner's nephew's wife or someone, some relative came because she was looking for stuff too. And so she was an older lady, so we were like digging through this, the attic and we were all sneezing and coughing because there's so much old gross dust up there. Yay! Okay, now I've got it all sealed in here. So yeah, my husband was right. I was at the house for two hours. <laughs> I found so many cool old things. But I also left a whole bunch of stuff, of stuff there because I have more than I can ever use also. I, whenever I find paper, like not not even like newspapers or magazines or anything, just plain paper, I'm like, I need it. I want it because I can always use paper. I can always craft with it and use it as pages. And yeah, it was very hard. But I left a ton of sheet music and books there because I have too much. I know no crafter said that ever, but... Yeah, I first I gotta be able to use what I have. Okay, so we got this, and now I have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. Okay, I definitely want this nice edge. I wish, uh, I wish I could have it on both sides. So I think with this. I can probably use Fabri-Tac because I don't think it's going to see through. It's pretty thick. Um, although I bought some new... Ugh, I bought some new spray adhesive. Uh, this time I bought the big can so I can make more, more covers. Okay, so I think this is a really nice, nice um, cover. So I'm going to glue this on here, and then I'm going <clears> to <throat> uh, probably, should I put the inside paper, oh, first, oh, yeah, yeah, don't forget, I have to put my hinge thingy in there too, before I sew it. It's going to be interesting to sew through these three thick layers. Also, I want to put paper on there before I glue it in there, because I don't want this color to show through. So... Let's figure out what we're going to put on there. 
What did I do with my box? Okay, so, oh, isn't this beautiful? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, oh. Let's go. Let's see if this works. I guess I can make this shorter. It doesn't have to be this long. Yeah, it's pretty long, so I'm gonna trim this down a little bit and then this should fit. Neat. Oh, maybe I can even fit it. Yeah, that could work. Cause I don't have to cover the entire hinge. I just have to cover where the fold is because the fabric of the cover is gonna go over here. So you're not gonna see that. Okay, so, and again, I dropped my glue. Now you're gonna go over here. So, whoop, gosh, all kinds of things show up here. <laughs> okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine, yeah, almost nine inches. So. Let's trim this a little bit. Eight. Okay. Let's trim off. Half an inch on each. Yeah, let's just do half an inch on each side. Perfect. So I don't know if this is gonna work out the way I want it to, but we will see. So this is the hinge. So I'm gonna put the paper, I'm gonna make sure because it has text on it. So I gotta make sure, what? Well, that's not a nice article to put on scrapbook or on, on paper. It says terrible loss of life and damage to ship shipping and house houses on the Mexican coast. Yeah, we'll be covering this up. Why would you use, yeah, so like I said, you should probably <laughs> make sure before you put any text on any, uh, in any of your books. Cause, well, at least I want to make positive things. I don't want like tragedy, tragic stuff. Okay, so gonna be like this and then the inside is gonna be like this which is nice so we don't see like the cardstock look uh, peek through here so now we're gonna put lots and lots of glue on here and lots of lots of glue So I have heard about the big storm in uh, Texas or in the south. So I hope if I have any any subscribers from the area that you are all safe. By the time you see this video, hopefully uh, everything's over. And I hope um, everybody made it all right. Okay. What am I doing this way? Okay. It has to go this way. We're supposed to get some snow tonight. And it's supposed to turn into sleet um, tomorrow during the day. So not too bad. I think we're supposed to get like seven inches, which isn't, isn't bad at all. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So we're already recycling uh, Kleenex packaging and Amazon packaging. And I know... Um, Teal and Tattered, I think. It's a Polish gal. She does a few, um, she has a few videos and tutorials where she, or craft with me videos where she uses 
packaging only for like to make a junk journal which is nice that's another uh, reason why I like making junk journals because you can use um, a lot of stuff that you would just throw in the trash and at least you give it another uh, like a second life second wind <laughs> and yay for less trash right uh oh that's fine just trim that Okay, so, and then once it's dry, I gotta fold this. First, I'm gonna see where I have to trim. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, I can tell. I have to trim it right there. Where do I keep putting my trim? I keep putting my trim in different spots. Ugh. Okay, so where do we have to trim? Right there, I think. Uh oh. I guess that's where we're gonna trim. Uh oh, oopsies. It was a little too close. And then this is fine. I just have to trim this a little bit. Okay, that's good. Should be fine. Let's see. Come on. Okay, number one. And then. I am so so fortunate to have a husband who doesn't doesn't care or doesn't mind how much how much craft stuff I have. <laughs> I know there are some some women out there that have to hide their their uh, craft stash or when they go shopping. Um, but yeah, I I got lucky. My husband has never ever said anything. Plus, he <laughs> he has his own collections of things and he can never have enough. So yeah, he won't say anything. But I was so, I'm so glad I don't have to hide anything from him. Such a good hubby. Well, I just cut that crooked. <clears throat> okay. That's okay. Let's see if I can, if it makes a difference if I distress this down here. A eh, little bit. Just don't want it to be white. And now we can bend this. Ooh, where's my bone folder? Oops. Yeah. Folding it in the right way, the right direction. Okay, so now. Oh gosh stuck to my table. Uh, so now, when I sandwich this in here, well, why are you not being a good sandwich? Oh. Oh, I should probably, uh, I should probably do another score line. Let's see if we can figure that out. <sighs> oh, yeah. Let's see. So... Uh-oh. 
totally crooked because it's way too thick to score. Bummer. Well, it could help a little bit. It's not ideal, but... Oh, oopsies. Okay, good enough. So, this will be in here. And then now when I uh, sew this on there, you won't see, like in here, you won't see the card, the, the purple color or the purplish blue color from that cardboard. Okay, and I gotta make sure that when I sew it, I'm not gonna sew, like I'm not gonna have it folded in. Okay, so that's gonna be good. Oh, I'm excited about this. All right. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to put on the inside. Blue paper. Um, I have this blue paper, but it's not really... It's not wide enough. Oh, man. And it doesn't really go with this. this blue. Well, it doesn't really matter that it's not the exact same blue. It doesn't have to be the exact same blue. Uh, I'm going to go through my paper stash and see what I can find. I think I'm going to go with two papers. So these are both from this lovely book. I've used this before. And in the front, we have thinner... Maybe I'll use... Hmm. Should I use... Because they have like... The front has the, the paper, and then in the back, they have the same design, but as a like little thicker as a cardstock. So... I'm gonna do the cardstock kind. I don't know how I think it goes this way. And then I love this color. It's beautiful. Even though it doesn't really go with this, but it's a just a uh, in general a blue journal, so should work. Okay. So I'm gonna hmm glue those and then I'm gonna have to put like a tape or something a strip of some something in the middle to cover this gap so do I I have to think now I can glue these on there because I'm gonna want to see the stitches okay so let's do this I'm just gonna glue it here and I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. Wow, this is gonna be a very fancy. Oh my gosh, people! Uh, people, cards stay up there. A very um, fancy cover <laughs> takes quite a while to do that. Okay, let's just put lots and lots of blue on there. Different kinds, maybe, to help. Oof! Cross your fingers that this will work out. The way I intended. <laughs> I cannot believe that today is day five of my five day weekend. Ugh, time guys goes by so fast. Unfortunately, time flies when you're having fun, right? I just want to make sure that this paper really stays on there. Okay, this should work. <laughs> Fragile, don't crush. Fragile. Okay, so... I'm going to cover the whole thing. It's funny that there's just the other day I got my blue junk journal from Lisa um, because I already had this in the plants for so long 
but um, yeah, I just love blue. It's so yummy. Oh, such a good color. And when I was folding my laundry this morning, I sorted uh, all my shirts and I folded by color on purpose. And like, it was like a rainbow, but it was like going from gray to blue and turquoise or gray to turquoise to blue. I have pretty much only blue, turquoise and gray or or black but that's it <laughs> I cannot wear um, certain greens and red I cannot wear red because I'm so pale I have a cold or cool undertone so red makes me even paler like ugh. I look awful. Also with yellow. I cannot wear yellow, which is sad because I like yellow. I would love to be able to wear yellow. I would love to have darker skin, but I cannot even like, I, I never tan. I only burn and that's it. So let's see. Where am I going to put this? Oh. Do it this way because I want this part and not this part. Alrighty, I'm gonna let this dry before I cut it, and then I'm gonna put some glue on here. And then I have to figure out what I'm gonna put in here. Maybe I'll put a piece of lace. How about that? Either lace or some some kind of ribbon. Maybe I have blue. I don't think I have blue ribbon. That would be nice if I had blue ribbon. Alright. <laughs> oh yeah, um, let me know if you guys want to see a um, video of, or want me to go through all the things I found today because <laughs> they were so awesome. Oh my gosh. It was like, I don't know, going on a treasure hunt. I mean, there were lots of super old suitcases, but I think they were unlocked. I didn't look in any of them, but there were tons of boxes with books and more books and more books and all like super old. But I already have so many old books where that I got just to use the book pages. So I only picked the books that had nice covers so I can use the covers uh, for junk journals or turn like the whole the whole book into a junk journal um but it kind of hurts to just leave those old books there because they were all like um 1920s 1930s but it is what it is okay so let's dry let this dry Okay, now I can cut this out. Uh oh, hope I'm not cutting the tape. <laughs> yeah. Did I cut the tape? No. Yeah, the tape's not even lined up with the envelope. Oh, that paper had this on the back, but this one had a different pattern on the back. I see. Good. Number one. That feels pretty cool. And number two and then we're gonna glue the fabric on it and then we're gonna sew around it and then I think oh yeah and then I want to see what I can put in here and then I think we're done with this part oopsies keep these never know what you can use them for I'm gonna make a collage for 
for all my tags and pockets and stuff. Neat. Uh, I probably could trim this a little bit. Try not to cut into the tape. I wish the tape would have been closer to the... Okay, that should do it. Yay! Nice. Okay, so now before... Oops. I have to trim this up here too. Now I have to attach my side flippy thing. This is going to be really nice and sturdy, but still wobbly, <laughs> wiggly. Okay, party. So now we're going to glue this here. I think I might use glue and packaging tape just to make sure it actually stays in there. Now I wish I had put this on the front because this would... Oh, now I can't do... Yeah, because this would have been a nice contrast. That's okay. It's still gonna look nice. Okay. Lots and lots of glue. Doopy doopy doo. And then this glue. Then we're gonna stick this in here. Try to center it. And flip it over. Ooh. I'm just gonna lean on it for a second or two. I feel like I'm doing CPR. <laughs> uh, should probably renew my first eight uh, certification. I think it expired last last summer. Okay, that's not too bad. Flop or flip. And now we're gonna cover this. What is there please? With tape just to make like to reinforce it. So it stays there. Ugh. I feel really bad for my sewing machine. Oh no, it has to sew through this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard. Or sewing machine. Probably gonna close my eyes while I sew this part because I'm afraid that the needle breaks off and like shoots me in the eye or something. <laughs> okay, so then we open this. Zips! And zips! Oh wow, I'm really starting to like this a lot. Very neat. Okay, I'm gonna glue this like, like this so we have like this overlap. But not on the back. I just think this looks really neat. Whew, okay, so let's do this. Lots of glue. Should I? No, because if you want to make it uh, permanent, You have to uh, join the surfaces within 15 seconds when it's still tacky. But I don't have time to spray this and then put uh, Fabri-Tac on top of it. So, but if you want to do it temporary, you wait three to five minutes, which I don't want it to be temporary. I want it to be um, permanent. So I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. Wish me luck. I'm gonna get a lot of this. Oh, my hand hurts <laughs> from squeezing the bottle. While I'm gluing on the other side, this is starting to dry. Oops. 
Okay, this will have to do. Probably just used half a bottle of fabric tag on this. Ugh, cramp. <sighs> okay, wish me luck. I know I'm repeating myself. And here goes nothing. Flop. <gasps> Ah, oh, this feels really great on this envelope. I'm gonna let this dry for a moment before I start sewing. Where's my... Here. Isn't this nice that sometimes your crafty answers just come to you when you least expect them? Um... When I, I knew I was going to do a blue journal, but I didn't know what I was going to do for the cover. And then when I was, was at Joanne's, and I think I was, I had some, oh yeah, I had like a whole bunch of um, batting, uh, batting cut. I was waiting, and the, the bin with like the leftover fabrics is right next to their cutting table or cutting station in my Joanne, um, Joanne's. And I saw this, I'm like, oh, this is perfect. So... There you go. Problem solved. And then same with, I didn't know what, how I was going to do the cover. But then, and I, I thought about it and I just let it sit. And then my Amazon order shows up that I totally forgot about. Plus I didn't expect mail today because it's a holiday. I mean, I know uh, UPS still works on the holiday or President's Day, which is yay. I love getting mail. <laughs> so yeah. Everything worked out perfectly. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. I love it. Cool. Okay, let it dry. It dry. Yeah, let it dry. I'm gonna cut a little, like, I'm not gonna cut it right on here. I'm just gonna trim off a little bit so I can get it through the sewing machine a little better. I finally brought my fabric scissors back downstairs. Oops. That should be fine. And I can still do other things with this. And I think I have some more left anyway. Okay. Woohoo. So what are we gonna do in here? Mm, I don't know. I don't have any um any blue blue ribbon I think. But what I'm gonna put on the front I have so many of these book plates, and it's like the gold, like dark old gold. And I thought it was, it goes really well with this. And I also used the leftover book corners of my Tim Holtz. Uh oh, oh no, there's four. <laughs> because it's also this gold and it goes with the book plate. So I think this will look really nice. Yes, I'm excited about this. Cool, cool. Okay, um, I am going to sew this and then I will come back and show you. Okay, I did it. I have stitched around my cover and on the front here <coughs> where we have the flippy thing, I stitched very slowly because I was worried that my needle would break, but it didn't break. And I'm still alive, which is also good, I guess. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the inside. And I just found this ribbon. I think it's like from Hobby Lobby or something. Yep, HobbyLobby.com. Um, and that's what it looks like. And I thought this goes really well with this, with these papers. So, ta-da! And I was gonna put my corners on there but then I realized because we have this overhanging uh, thing here I can't put the corner on because then it's gonna look dumb because it's gonna get squished in here so the back is fine because I don't have this on the back but now it's also too late to trim this off because it's gonna look dumb so if anyone has any ideas or suggestions Please let me know because I was really excited about these book corners. <laughs> yeah, okay, it is what it is. And I also have not yet used 
the uh, papers from Land.Arrow, even though it's my pro uh, design team project. I promise, Natalie, I'll use it in the next video um, when I do ephemera and pages and stuff. So, um, I'm also gonna, well, I'm gonna link her, her Etsy in, in the description below and also check out her YouTube channel because she makes beautiful stuff. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!